Now what is up my fellow product coders, welcome to this video and today we'll continue working on making our server talk to our browser. So we already have a course policy which kind of satisfies some standard uh, security requirements uh, for the browser but there's something else we need to do. So the thing is the browser itself as I already said is kind of reluctant to make like cross origin requests. But it will do it. Like if you will set up a proper course policy, like the browser will do it. But there's like more to it. So as soon as we're talking about, um, you know, sending cookies along, so accepting cookies from a cross origin uh, domain, that's like a different deal. Because there the browser is even more strict and says, hey, look, um, I don't, I do not send uh, cookies to cross origins per default. And I also do not accept cookies from cross origins per default because that is dangerous. If I just send out the cookie to any website, then, you know, anyone can steal the cookie and hijack the session. That's not what I want. So we need to do additional work to make sure that um, things or that, that we get the cookie actually by the browser. So um, and one thing we need to do is we need to set uh, the with credentials header. And this is actually quite hard to find, I have to admit. So when you go to the documentation, I think it is somewhere here. Yes, this sentence. For a course request with credentials, in order for browsers to expose the response to front-end JavaScript code, both the server and the client, blah, 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 must indicate that they're opting to include the credentials. So credentials in that case means uh, cookies. So what this basically says, it's like a, yeah, a little bit of an elaborate explanation for saying if you want the browser to send the cookie to a cross origin uh, uh, server, then you need to make specific settings. And it also talks about it here. You need to set this particular header. And you need, need to do it on both the front end and the back end. That's like important. So making this setting is like super easy, but finding out like what to do is kind of hard. So let's go to our code. And everything we have to do here is in the course package, uh, there's an option, it's called credentials. And we need to say true. So what this means is it says our server is going to accept um, like credentials, so cookies from cross origin domains. And now this is the first part, right? Because remember uh, in the documentation, it says, uh, oh, both, uh, both the server and the client need to do that. So we only did it on the server so far, but we have to do it on the client as well. Now at the moment, uh, we don't really have like a, a website or something, but let's maybe first talk about uh, the server a little bit. So if you search for uh, credentials, then here it says in this course package, configures the access control allow credentials course header set to true to pass the header. Otherwise it is omitted and per default it is false. Okay. So this is what we just did. That kind of one line of code does the trick. But as I said, this is very easy to oversee. <laughs> so it also took me quite a while the first time I did this. And um, now we did the server part. And since we don't have a website here, I will like not show you like in code how to do it with the client because that would take a hell of a lot of time. Um, but I will just um, show you how to do it with a couple of popular libraries. So there's a library called Axios. It's uh, pretty popular actually and um, for making Ajax calls. And um, when you use uh, this cross origin cookie, when you want to enable this cross origin cookie, cookie sharing, basically, you need to set this with credentials option to true. If you set it to false, it will not work. And this can cause like a whole lot of headache because, you know, your application is working, like it's working with Postman and everything is working, but it just doesn't receive like the cookie and um, chances are like you probably forgot to set this with credentials either on the front end on the back end or on both so the bottom line is like whatever you use if you use the fetch api for example 
uh, or if you use Axios, then you need to set this with credentials uh, field to true. Otherwise, it will not work. Yeah, so you can see it's basically everything is de described in here, how to do it. So for the server part, if we set this to true, oops, if we set this to true, we're done. And actually, we th I think we can also see this in the uh, response. Oops, we have to allow a course. So if you go to headers, um, then you can see this header here, yes. Access control allow credentials. Indicates whether to expose the response to front end JavaScript code. When used in response to prefile request, it indicates whether or not the actual request can be made. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. And this is also what the documentation uh, talks about here, right? This is exactly what it says. So don't get discouraged by this. It's kind of a little bit like complicated, at least in the way it's formulated. The fix itself is easy, but might not be that easy to figure out. So yeah, on the server part, we're now pretty much done. So this session implementation would work with the front end, provided that you do use this with credential thing in whatever library you use. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much uh, for like following along. And um, please give the video a thumbs up. If you like it, uh, maybe leave a comment if you have some questions. Um, you can also find me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle is at production coder. And I also set up an email list where you can sign up. So if you are interested in more content and if you want to have a say in what we do next on this channel, um, you can do so. And every once in a while, I'll send an uh, email along and then you guys can vote. So again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.